With much of the Bay Area already built out, it's a challenge to find places to create much needed housing. But a bill in the legislature would make it easier to build homes in areas that are already developed. In our series Project Home, KPIX 5's John Ramos shows us it all starts with a trip to the mall. In the 70s and 80s, the indoor mall was the place to be. But over the years, they've lost a lot of their popularity, and the pandemic didn't help much. But what if you could reimagine this space? What if this place to shop became a place to live? The Hilltop Mall in Richmond isn't really a mall at all anymore. Its main anchor stores, Macy's, Sears, JCPenney, closed up years ago. It's not so bleak at Stonestown Galleria in San Francisco, but inside there are a lot of vacant storefronts now. A lot of people that I know just shop online, honestly, or they find, they find cheaper options online. Jennifer Gonzalez and Valerie Varagon are students at nearby San Francisco State University. There is a proposal by the mall's owners to turn the property into a town center setting, adding 3,000 housing units to the vast parking lots. I think it's really interesting that we're trying to use the resources that we, that we already have to create like housing for people that need it, especially right now because it's hard to find housing for students. At malls across the Bay Area, the expansive properties are being seen as a golden opportunity to build large mixed-use housing projects on land that is already developed along transit corridors and near residential neighborhoods. Todd David with the Housing Action Coalition considers this so-called adaptive reuse as a win-win. These malls are existing structures in existing neighborhoods, right? It is a great way to add housing in an environmentally friendly manner. But malls are not eligible for residential use under most cities' general zoning plans, and changing those can be a time-consuming hassle. So a bill, SB 6, has now passed the state Senate that would automatically include residential use in the mall's commercial zoning statewide. This would be an opportunity to build new housing units in already existing buildings. So to repurpose basically the inside or, you know, parking lots or things like that. The bill wouldn't force cities to allow housing in commercial developments, but it would make it easier for those who want to try it. And with the pressure that cities are under to meet housing quotas, living at the mall may become popular again. In Richmond, John Ramos, KPIX 5. The housing advocate says some cities are opposing the bill over a possible loss of tax revenue because residential property is taxed at a lower rate than commercial property.